Hi everybody, welcome back to Sip City. City Skylines After Dark. Man, sorry it has been a long time since the last video. Um, I've had some internet problems recently, which hopefully um, should be solved now. So we should be able to get uh, more of these out a little bit quicker than before. Anyway, we're back in Sip City. We've reached a milestone with Sip City whereby we can um, start making um, tourist industries and specializations. So we're probably going to do that uh, today. I think that means making our commercial areas into um, a tourist specialization, which means that this whole neighborhood here, if we were to turn this into like a tourism specialist place, I don't know why we would, but maybe we just want to have like a little town by the sea um, to benefit from tourism. It means that this whole area is going to become like party central. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. We're going to have to see, but uh, let's take a look. So if we go in here and we go to the commercial specializations, we can have tourism or we can have no commercial specialization. I guess we probably want to like make this tourism specialization. So that's fine. I guess we just have to paint the district with the brush. Um, and then once we've done that, we turn it into a commercial specialization. Nice. That means that we're creating a district and that we need to actually call this place something. I don't know. What district should this be? This district of Sip City. <laughs> should we just make this like... Oh, look at this. We can make it like this strip here. We can. It can be like, you know, like in Vegas. Like they have like, you know, the strip Vegas. We can have like a strip in um, Sip City as well called Grove Park. I don't know if we're necessarily going to call it Grove Park, but anyway. We're going to make this a commercial specialization. Uh, worth noting, there's only commercial buildings along the big road. The rest is all residential behind, who are going to be really pissed off because, I, like I said, it's going to be like party central. It's been crazy. Um, and I don't know if we're going to make a lot of money off of this. Uh, we're going to have to, like, somehow attract tourists. Well, that should be pretty good. Oh, look. This place is making money. Look, it's the Stratus Hotel. Oh, nice. Oh, look at all this stuff is changing into, like, hotels and stuff. Oh, well, that's fucking great. Okay, cool. Uh, what do we want to call this? Do we want to call this Grove Park? Oh, look. We have um, a tourism specialization, but also a no specialization specialization. That's nice, actually. Okay, fine. Um, let's call this um, quite simply just maybe The Strip. Okay, and there we have it. The Strip. Uh, as it will forever now be known <laughs> in Sip City. Just this one wretched strip of tourism amongst... I don't even think these are... Commer they're not. <laughs> Jeez. There's a whole bunch of residential in here that needs to be turned into commercial. All right, anyway. We have an overwhelming um, desire now in the city to make industrial. Uh, so we will do that. And in the meantime, we will also expand out the farms because they count as industrial, which would be pretty good. Uh, and um, we'll continue expanding out this way as well, I think. Christ, we also need some power over here because most of this stuff is not being built for some... What? What, what was all this stuff in here? What happened? Oh, it's all commercial. Of course. Nice. All right, great. Well, we got a couple of things. <laughs> Look at these huge hotels. The Grand Hotel. No electricity. Your choice hotel. Not enough electricity. And the best eastern. Okay, I'll tell you what. We need to actually cut down this district for the strip. It needs to be cut down a little bit. <laughs> it's, we gotta get rid of this part here. We want to make this like shopping and not tourism stuff. So the strip will just end here. Here. No, we want it to be like a little bit in here. We want it to be like in here still. <laughs> and then it'll, it'll go just to like here. See, look. Oh, look, it snaps on the roads now. It's quite nice, actually. I like that. Okay, uh, and then in here, kinda, sorta, but here mostly it'll just be like normal shops and stuff, I think. And then, of course, the mall, which of uh, course also doesn't have any electricity as well. What are these people complaining about? Not enough educated workers. What, to work in the hotel? I could see that, you know, maybe we need like a whole bunch of accountants and stuff to work in the hotels for all the money that we're making. No? Possibly? I don't know. Anyway, we still seem to be making a massive amount of ducats, but look at these buildings are really big. Holy shit, like look at this one. It's the Grant Canyon Casino and Hotel. 
So we've basically made like a really shitty Vegas strip here. Completely unintentionally as well. Like it's really bad. Look at how sparse it is in between. I mean, I would not visit this place personally, but you never know. All right, fine. Uh, we'll do a little bit of work and see uh, what we can do. Oh no. The worst has happened. The Grant Canyon Hotel and Casino has been abandoned because not enough accountants were available to work there. I mean, there's still plenty of other hotels, but a lot of them are starting to close shop because of the lack of educated workers uh, in the city. We're going to have to work on that. Um, we're also adding some more industry to the city very slowly, like uh, over here and um, and a couple of farms too. We're going to expand out the farms and then put like this buffer in between the farms and then hopefully attract some tourists and get them to ride on buses. Are people waiting outside on the buses in front of these hotels and stuff? Because we had one bus route, didn't we, that was like jam-packed full, but now it's not. Look, nobody wants to ride this bus route. Oh man, what a view. Holy shit. That looks pretty cool. Well, well, look at how times have changed. <laughs> the Grant Canyon Hotel has opened again. I guess it found all of the accountants that it needed and is now opened again for business. Well, we still have this massive demand for industrial. Um, I guess that's off the back of these hotels needing lots of goods. Which is really great for the economy. I mean, we're making a ton of money right now, but we just can't make enough jobs uh, to fill this all up. We might need to think about getting like another industrial area set up because this one's already getting kind of busy. Look at all the traffic coming in here already. We got some big trucks coming in. We got some hot dog trucks, ice cream trucks, more hot dog trucks. There's a lot of shit happening over here and we don't want it to get too crowded. So we might have to make like another industrial area down here. I think we should probably do that. We'll start planning one out uh, and then we can connect it up to the highway uh, and then uh, the trucks can go down the highway here and get into the city and deliver all of their goods. It's mostly just shampoo and stuff, I think, and maybe face cloths. They have to manufacture a lot of face cloths so that, um, of course, you know, people can get fresh ones every single day at these hotels. Oh, actually, this is a pretty good spot for um, another industrial area because we've got um, the train track here too, right? So we can connect up like a regional um, exit for the trucks to take goods to uh, along the tracks. Um, and then uh, for local deliveries and stuff, they can just use the highway to get in there. Okay, cool. Um, do we have everything unlocked that we need for that? I don't even know if we do, you know. I don't think we have trains yet at all so we can't make any train stations we can make bus stations but of course industrial goods aren't going to leave the city on a bunch of buses that would be crazy so we'll build an, a big industrial area over here uh bearing in mind that once we do unlock trains um we can ship the goods out and that'll be pretty good i think all right so we're gonna go for something like this this is gonna be the way out this leads out and then we need to have a way in as well do we, we want them to be able to go out this way, but we also want them to be able to go out and back this way too. So we'll fix that after. It's not going to be the prettiest, but I think for now it'll probably work. So we'll have another inn here too, and I think the inn can start like around... Uh, we want it to be straight, so we probably want the inn to be something like here. Uh, that works. Uh, and then we're going to have like a ramp that sort of comes off uh, and then goes up and over and connects up. So we want it to like go up like this and like gradually sort of curve. Actually, we could probably have it start like over here-ish uh, and then it can sort of make its way. <laughs> this is going to be nice. Are you guys ready for this? We need to have it like on a curve too, right? It's going to go like, it's going to curve in and hopefully just about get over that. That's pretty good. A little bit a little a little okay that's fine and then we can have it go like that all the way let's take it all the way do 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 okay and then it can come down and connect up to here not perfectly straight but it's probably okay for now so that's gonna be the way into the industrial and that'll be the way out uh, and we can actually here we'll build all this crap now because we desperately need it it's gonna be pretty packed in here but should be pretty good 
We need some power over here too. I think we've got enough um, availability for electricity just. Maybe just. Um, I guess we could probably have it sort of go from here and then over. Can it do it? It's done it. Okay, perfect. And we'll co connect it straight up to here, I guess. We need it to go... Or do we want it to, like, follow the road a little bit? I'm all right with it following the road. I think following the road is maybe a little bit better. Because we're not going to really build too much on this side of these roads, right? So it can go, like, to here, go to here, and then this can just sort of branch off into here-ish. That works. All right. A building has burnt down over there. Okay, great. So we have a whole bunch of industry going in here with a way back onto the highway and a way off to the highway. So this is all, like, really shitty belchy polluting industrial but that's okay so we've got an area here and we now have an area um down here too for industrial and it looks like we still have a lot of demand for industrial but the good news is that there should be lots of goods entering the city now for the hotels um which means that everyone will have their shampoo uh, and their face cloths and everything else uh and that should be good great oh man as we're coming along okay here. Like, demand's starting to creep up for residential, a bit for commercial, uh, quite a bit so for industrial. But, man, look at this place come alive at night. Look at all these hotels. God, it looks fantastic. I like the tourism stuff. There's a whole bunch of other tourism stuff that we need to look at getting, too. Like, look at all this stuff. There's riding stables. That looks pretty cool. We can ferry people out to, like, farmland and take them on horse riding trips. There's a marina. There's a jet ski rental. I guess this is all stuff that we're going to, like, set up along the coast here, which is fine. We have to place it next to a roadside. And then I guess they just sort of walk the jet skis into the water. I have no idea. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, including a fishing pier as well. I mean, look at this thing. This looks fucking awesome. All right, we're going to place one of these, like, probably right now. Because they cost like 10000 but this is going to be fantastic. Where do we want a fishing pier? Do we want one like just down here? Can we get it like up against the road? Or do we have to have like a little path that goes to it? Like how does that look? Does that look dumb? No. Oh. Well, I mean kind of. <laughs> it kind of looks dumb. But at the same time, holy crap, I am loving that. That looks so cool. Can we sort of connect it up a little bit with like these paths? Not really. Okay, that's fine. It looks like everybody around here is really benefiting from a local fishing pier that's just been installed. All right, another thing that we need to do too is um, we need to really bolster our education here. We have high school availability and elementary school availability. We have this new neighborhood here, which could probably do with having some uh, education. It doesn't look like we're hitting everywhere we need to with education. Um, and that's why we're missing so many um, educated workers. So we're going to have to build another high school kind of like in here. Probably just like on the corner here. That should be okay. Right in the middle of this neighborhood. And we'll also get another little elementary school in here somewhere as well. Um, maybe just like on this corner here. Perfect. Alright, so our capacity goes up. More people go to school. And then the dinging and the donging takes place all across the city. Look at that. It's fantastic. There's lots of dinging and donging. Another thing that we're starting to do as well is, like, look at these little parks. See, like, I left the space in between all of these um, buildings to put, like, these sort of, like, homemade parks. Like, this is one of the ones that I just did. Uh, and it looks pretty sweet. Look, people are actually walking along the path. There's, like, some trees and stuff. You normally have to place stuff next to roads, but sometimes you can kind of get away with just placing stuff um, in here like trees and stuff and just making it look like a, like a natural park and not so much like a, you know, um, ploppable park, if you like. Um, so we'll continue like beautifying with that kind of stuff too because look at that. There's like little, see look, there's like little lampposts and stuff too. So it's totally safe to walk through here. Look, if you're staying at this hotel, the Hotel Intercontinental, you might just want to like come out here and you might want to take like this pedestrian walkway down through the city rather than sort of getting onto this really busy ass road that's full of people jesus christ i mean we could probably upgrade this road to have like trees along the side and stuff as well maybe like beautify the strip a bit that'd be pretty cool maybe we should think about doing that 
<laughs> Holy shit, this pier is awesome. Look, there's a dude here too. He's just fishing. He's having a nice time fishing. Actually, there's a couple of dudes. Look at all these guys. These guys are like the local fishermen guys that are here every single day and they know all the tricks of the trade, how to catch the fish. You gotta be quick because I don't know if you noticed, the current on this river is tremendous. Like it actually threatens to wash this whole pier away. Um, it's a very tall pier too. And you have a beautiful view. I don't know if you can see it from here of um, the waterworks <laughs> and a couple of power lines and stuff too. Actually the view from, well, and there's also a building on fire up here too, which is always nice. I don't know, the view from here isn't really the best actually. Did somebody try to write? Oh no, they're solar panels. Um, it's just these hills. They just look a bit shitty. <laughs> it just looks like we've built a bunch of houses into like a mountain of shit. Whoa, what's up with the trees? Oh, they're just swaying in the wind, I see. All right, fishermen. Um, carry on then. We're going to take a look at um, some of the other tourism things. Because we got all of this stuff. We might as well build some bit. Look at this. We've actually got a skate park. It costs 4000 bucks. It's a recreational environment specifically made for skateboarding, BMX, scooter, and inline skating. I don't know if I've ever seen a scooter before at a skate park, but we're going to make it seem like it's, it's a cool thing to do, right? Go to a skate park. I don't know if it is a cool thing to do anymore going to a skate park, but we're going to put one right on the strip. Uh, and we're going to make a whole bunch of money from people going here to this thing. Look at that. It's already improved. Uh, the accessibility of our leisure centers. I don't know how or why it's done that, but anyway, it seems to have... Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. It seems to have given everything a big boost around here for some reason. Again, I'm not sure why, but we could probably do with beautifying this area now, too. We want to have, like, a little path that comes um, to here from, um, well... Kind of like every direction. We're going to have to knock down this poor person's house, sadly. Um, I mean, come on. You've had a good... You've had a good innings there, house. But we need this space. We need to be able to connect up to, like, this road here, too. As, like, a shortcut. Although, should we be... Well, yeah, okay. We do. We want to connect to there, too. So we want people to be able to get to the skate park from uh, the road, right? But maybe not, like... Oh, like not connect that up. I think we want like the straight one. No, you can't. Okay, we're just gonna have to leave it like that. I think. Or will it connect? <laughs> I never give up. No, <laughs> I haven't given up. Oh, that looks a bit better actually. Okay, cool. It's a, it's like a little bit of like a stubby pone. Okay, great. So we can put like a couple of nice trees in here. Oh, this is something I have not really done much of since I've started this city, and it's something that you have to do a lot of, in my opinion, to get the city looking right. Okay, we need some big old trees here as well. We need some places for people to be able to picnic with their loved ones. Also, places for couples to come in and have a smooch and stuff. That's pretty nice. Okay, so, um, the only thing is, is this path is currently being blocked by the Primrose residents. For some reason, I don't know why, how the planning officials managed this one, but there is a shack right in front of a... Okay, fine. We're going to kick them out. We've evicted the Primrose family, and uh, we once again have access to our path, which leads to the skate park. And, of course, you can also reach the skate park from the road, too. And all of the local hotels are loving the fact that there is some sort of sports facility nearby so that they can, you know, put it in their brochures and be like, hey... Come one, come all to the most fantastic uh, leisure venture in the entire universe. That's right. The Sip City Strip. We got hotels. We got one skate park. We got one fishing pier dominated by local fishermen and their endless amounts of local knowledge. We got even more hotels further down the strip. And guess what? Not too far from there, a really shitty shopping mall with the parking lot out front in case you brought your car. And we also have a taxi rank too. These are just some of the things that they might put into a brochure selling Sip City. And I, for one, am all for it. Oh, man, Sip City is really starting to take shape, actually. This is fucking great. All right, well, we're expanding the neighborhood out a little bit. We had a little bit of demand for residential, and it looks like some people are starting to move in uh, to this area. We wanted to sort of stretch out and fill... 
Well, most of this up. Maybe not too close to the industrial, but certainly um, over to around here. Uh, and then they'll have to sort of make their way back to, well, here, where the traffic is actually starting to pile up quite a bit. I think a lot of these um, cars and trucks are sort of trying to get out of the city, definitely, to get to some of these factory jobs. Uh, and then most of the traffic that's coming back in appears to be uh, industrial traffic headed towards some of the um, commercial uh, interests along the strip. Uh, so we might need to sort of get back into uh, and replan some of this. Or maybe think about uh, eventually getting um, some sort of um, sort of local train cargo network to uh, supply all these places uh, and save on some of the cars and trucks coming in. It's not too bad right now. There's a couple of little traffic jams and stuff, but it's not like snaking out of control. I mean, having said that, it will snake out of control before long because, look, already we're struggling to pick up the garbage and stuff here. So we might need to think about maybe getting like another, um, some more access into the city from elsewhere and not concentrating s so much or relying so much on this here. But for now, it's probably okay. <laughs> I mean, I say that. It's probably not okay. But we are just going to leave it for now anyway. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Hotel Intercontinental doesn't have enough customers. I think we definitely need to bolster tourism some more. Uh, and the best way to do that is going to be with some of these cool um, tourist attractions, right? Like we've so far got a fishing pier and a skate park. And now I think maybe we want to have organized year-round fishing tours, which are fun, and they include all the necessary equipment and necessary licenses as well, and it costs 9000 to build it. Why not, right? Fishing tours. I don't know where the hell you'd have to build this. I guess you would build it sort of next to or close to the pier. Um, oh, look at this. You can actually get it, like, right in here. Oh, that's pretty sweet, actually. Um, I mean... There's a little, there's a big cliff here though. This is the problem. I don't know if we want to make people go down a massive cliff to get here. Like we probably want it up here somewhat. No? Sort of? Like, it's trying, look, it's almost like the current is like trying to wash it away. <laughs> what about like, here? <laughs> there. How's that? Is that, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know how anyone's going to get to this. I mean, they are organized tours, though. We'll have to put, like, a bus station and stuff in front. All right, so if we actually get the path here, I don't know if this is going to work. Will it work? The space is already occupied, apparently. So, I mean, we're just going to have to hope that people can actually pull up here and navigate this strip of grass and get to it. We've had zero visitors so far. Oh! No! Scratch that. We have one visitor. It hasn't been a week, so it hasn't updated yet. Okay, great. Well, now we have fishing tours, too. So there's a whole bunch of reasons why anybody would want to come to Sip City now, right? We've got a pier. We've got uh, garbage that isn't being collected owing to traffic jams and stuff. Uh, we've got all sorts of other weird, wacky, and wonderful shit. But the main thing is, is that our tourism uh, is doing really good. I think in between um, this episode and the next one, I'll try to fix uh, some of the traffic so that we can get some uh, garbage pickup in here. I don't know if the dumps are all just full, actually. No, there's still one dump, uh, but it's 95% full. We're going to have to start thinking about maybe incinerating some of this stuff before long. Uh, for now, though, we'll just get a whole bunch of more dumps set up um, so that we can pick up some of the garbage because it is starting to accumulate everywhere. And, of course, we don't want to scare away all of our precious tourists with the smell of rotting, shitty garbage emanating from uh, the city and spreading everywhere. Cool. All right, great. Well, Sip City continues to grow. Like I said, I'll do a couple of things in between this episode and next, uh, and then hopefully next time we can uh, get to work on maybe um, getting some sort of cargo network in place to um, alleviate some of the congestion that we're seeing, well definitely here but we also need to think of some ways some alternate ways into the city as well uh for these deliveries and stuff so that we're not depending just on this and the traffic jams get completely and utterly out of control great well there you go another episode of sip city um 
sorry again for the delay in between episodes. Uh, like I said, I've had some internet problems, but they should be sorted out now, so I should be able to be a little bit more regular as time frees up uh, going forward and stuff. Um, it'll be nice, actually, to, to build out Sip City and uh, make it really big. It's already getting pretty big now. I mean, we've got a population of 7,000. Um, but we just need to juggle around with the demands and stuff, meet them, and uh, it'll grow even better. Great. Well, if you like that, please leave a like. Uh, it's always appreciated, and it's uh, very helpful as well. Um, alternatively, if you didn't like this or you don't like the series, um, feel free to leave a dislike as well. It's an excellent way for me to um, gauge whether or not people are still interested uh, in the series um, and whether it's worth making or moving on to something else. Um, we'll have to see. So far, though, um, it's nice to be back in City Skylines. I haven't played it for a while, so I don't feel like overly sort of burnt out with it or bored, bored with it or anything like that. Um, so it'll be nice to actually see some of the stuff I haven't actually seen in the game yet. Make a big city uh, and see how we do. Great. All right. Well, as usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.